having lists, right? And that's like maybe one of the things I'm always a fan of having the program enforce what my exact desire is so that I make less bugs. And sometimes people use lists when they really need when they really need sets, and that's fine because you can just program it like you can program uh, you can use lists as sets as long as you always imagine that they that they're not that they're equal um, that you enforce the specific properties of them like. And then I ask if this is equal. Like sometimes you may have data that completely fits that you need to fit these sorts of properties. But this would not be true in a list. But maybe that's like upsetting you that the fact that these lists aren't the same. But you actually what you actually mean to talk about is set. So I think a lot of people, programmers, don't approach the computer program with set theory in mind, and oftentimes the set data type is exactly the right. It occurs so much in our natural world that it's almost exact. It, it's not a coincidence that it might occur in like, or, like the data you're trying to model. And in that case, you actually may want to use the set data type, which I'm not sure is that a primitive in JavaScript. Okay, so you might use a dic uh, an object a dictionary or a dictionary. The zero f element is still the first element in the list, so it's not exactly why that happens, but I guess zero is sort of like the position. We have like this intuition about what the first position is. And sometimes we call it the zeroth position in programming. And if you were going to think about the zeroth position, not in terms of like the, num the numeral here, like if this was one index and this thing started at one, and then I was talking about the zeroth position, I would really be like referring to some sort of number that's like over here in the sense. And so it would be like the zeroth position if you're using the one intuition. Yeah. How do you use the concept of being able to do that to help make sense of strings or an empty object or an empty array? Well, it's the thing that has. So this is an empty string. It has length zero. This is the empty list. It also has length zero. Um, all of these things, their property is that their length is zero because their size, their cardinality, sorry, I didn't define cardinality yet, their size is zero. So when you think about an empty anything, it's something whose size is zero size. Thank you.
16 without any numbers. Um, so what happens if I do this? Oops. I mean, look, knowing that set theory can help you win cocoa competitions. <laughs> What's that story? Yeah, I actually am in the code of definition, but I'm still pretty proud of my solution. Okay. Thanks so much.